It's time to enter a world of fashion, glamour and glitz and the greatest pop music of all time. Not to mention leg warmers and Rubik's Cubes. It's time to stand and deliver. on the absence of the blonde hair, which has been widely reported as having gone mouse. But there it is again. It's back. <laughs> but, is it, is, but is that a wig or is that... You're not going to say. Mm. I have my suspicions about it. <laughs> I thought that maybe, maybe you'd gone mouse, as, as was reported, as I say, in the sense that also Blondie as a group has sort of disappeared over the past couple of years. Well, the rumors are sort of spreading like wild. Um, every time we do something that's a little different, um, we stop touring. Um, I did a solo project. Uh, the group, um, the Blondie, Best of Blondie album came out. And all of those things seem to uh, spark off a bunch of your sweet so much. I was wondering if I could come and work for you. What do you want to be, son? A babysitter for the jelly babies? No, I thought oh, I could tread the grapes for the wine gums. Dolly mixture. You don't think I'm a bit old for dolly mixtures, do you, Bertie? Dolly birds you're too old for, son. Licorice all sorts. Do you know, I love these so much. Sometimes I think I'm going to end up looking like a licorice all sorts. Can you imagine anything more ridiculous? What are you doing? I'm just eating one of your legs. This is the Special K Pinch. So is this. If you can pinch more than an inch, you may need to watch your weight. Let's see it again. Try Kellogg's Special K Breakfast. It's high in protein, high in taste, but low in calories. Try the Special K Pinch. And if you can pinch more than an inch, try Kellogg's. Now and for to introduce a magical journey to the North Pole and beyond in the company of the snowman, here's David Bowie. This attic's full of memories for me. We spent all our summers by the seaside, and in winter, at home, by the fire. Frost on the window, and snow, snowballs and making snowmen. One winter I met a really big snowman. He got this scarf for me. You see, he was a real snowman. when and if we manage to build machines that can do, as Charles Lecht said, everything better than people. Because when that time comes, the next question is going to have to be, then what shall people do? It is possible that we may manage to create an entirely new society with new ways of satisfying people's basic human needs of uh, dignity and some purpose to their lives. But to do that, we shall need ideas and rather better ideas than the usual vague suggestions to abandon the Protestant work ethic and uh, create the leisure society. It's the look, it's the look, the look of love. New at number 30, it's Trio and Da Da Da. At number 29, a one for dollar and videotech. At 28, goody two-shoes from Adam Ant. Heart stop beating in time from Leo Sayer is at 27. At 26, Do I Do, Stevie Wonder. At 25, Soft Cell with Torch. At 24, I Want Candy, Bow Wow Wow. With ABC at 23, The Look of Love. At number 22, up from 28, Leonard Skinner and Freebird. At 21, it's Night Train from Visage. And at number 20, Bananarama. And here they are with Shy Boy.
time. Color Fast by Max Factor. Taxi! By 11. Copy, Jane. The designer files. Table for two. Thousand. Jane T. W.A. New York. Hold on. Don't I? American Express. The anniversary surprise. Two front stalls for tonight, please. Uh, American Express card number 374. The language problem. There will always be the American Express card. I would love to do it for my little girl because uh, I don't think I've changed much over the years. I, I get into all sorts of controversial scripts and what have you, but. Uh, deep down, I, I do like to please people. Uh, I do uh, appreciate other people playing good snooker against me. A child can have all the time. Major Morgan. By matching any of the colors, numbers, symbols, or letters to the keyboard, they can play many of the tunes they know and love. Get in step with... As quick as you can on the other side. In the yellow cluster. And in the red, chip it up on the joker. Once they get to the other side, they tauten the rope and the girls come across. We have three girls from each team. First of all, the Gloucester. We have Carolyn, Carolyn drops in, the new assistant. So, for Chippenham, going across like Grease Lightning, we have Dawn Freer. Who's a PTI in the RAF? For Gloucester, we have Carolyn. Chippenham have one across. The game is three girls across. Then the rest of the team who are forming the pyramid. Dawn Freer. This is Karen. And the rules are you must not touch the water. Karen, Polly, also in the RAF. A telecommunications operator. This is it, Karen Colley in the red with the mop cap. Come on, Gloucester. No, she's touched the water again. The Chippenham Joker looking absolutely safe. One minute to go. And this is Lynn coming across. No, it's not. It's Sharon. Lost her in all sorts of trouble. And when you've dropped in the aqua, the clothing weighs a ton. It's important to get across with your dry stuff. If she keeps going, for Chippenham, this is Sharon. They keep the rope taut. Three boys of Chippen, Chris, Huey, and Kevin. And when she's safely on the far side, they'll break loose. And they'll go. Off they go. Whoop. The Chippen and Joker about to be played and won. When those three guys are safely on the other side, standing on the mat, that'll be it. They'll all stand up and the joke is finished. Gloucester is still struggling. They're out of the pool. The little tide is coming up. Oh, Unpredictable woman. This week, Esther Ransom gets angry about the way the system treats new mothers. 
Steve Strange admits he wouldn't look like this if Dad were around. On stage again, Noel Gordon shows off her newfound happiness. You can expect the unexpected from... A double album of the music from Jean-Michel Jarre's concerts in China is now available from your local record shop. Jarre had won almost everything in sight since winning the title in 1981, but against Tony Knowles, he struggled right from the start. Knowles took the first frame in only 12 minutes, and in the second, Davis needed the last five colours to win the frame and draw level. Throughout. No sixes, but 5.9s from everyone. That's the technical merit. Seven judges this time, reduced from nine for this World Championship. And there we have some sixes. A thrilling. And many of them will be back tomorrow to try to disrupt the life of the base. Their protests have achieved nothing tangible so far, but the campaign goes on. There have been demonstrations, too, at several military bases in West Germany. In Stuttgart, around 300 protesters blocked the entrance to the United States Euro European Command HQ. Among them were two opposition members of the West German Parliament. The new Renault 9, Car of the Year 1982. A new milestone in economy. The 1.4 manual versions give 52.3 miles per gallon at 56 miles per hour. But I'll always be there, all Bill. The other birds laugh and say that I'm daft and I can. You're not. I am. They tease me and not. He's down. You look at America or Canada, I bet they've changed. You're right. They are, what I'll tell you. America's gone down to 149 for three minutes. <laughs> Dialing on your own phone on cheap rate to Europe only costs 99p for three minutes. And America has gone down from 223 to 149. Printing error. <laughs> so it doesn't cost much to keep in touch. Good morning. This is BBC Two. In two minutes we shall be going to Eastbourne for coverage of the second day of the CBI conference. Everything is possible. Reporting from Boston, Tony Gabber. It's 10 o'clock on Saturday as the groundsman marks out the pitch for an FA Cup tie, daydreaming about playing centre forward and scoring the winning goals. But as 20 year old Chris Cook makes final preparation for non league Boston United's home game against Sheffield United, he can walk tall, knowing that the impossible can come true. It was Cook's two goals that helped beat Crewe 3-1 in the last round, catching him the headlines in only his fourth senior match and making him the most unusual personality of the cup, the groundsman centre forward. Yeah, uh, a bit of a rarity, I would have thought, yeah, definitely. Is there any advantage for you in being centre forward and groundsman as well? Um, probably a little bit. I know where to run when probably the other players don't know the bad parts, yeah. I tell you, I don't want to be disrespectful, but looking around, there's one or two bad parts. Oh, there's a bit muddy and it's a bit, uh, a bit lumpy. Yeah, we've struggled this week because it's um, been really heavy rain nearly all the week and we've really struggled to get onto it, yeah. So what's the groundsman's verdict on the pitch for this afternoon's match? Very heavy, in parts, <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, I hope you're not going to wear those boots for the match. No, I'll change into my goal-scoring ones, hopefully. <laughs> Almost as remarkable as Boston's famous stump is the club's York Street ground, where half a million pounds has been spent in four years, bringing it up to league standards, but without incurring an overdraft. The child doesn't want to wear the shoes that fit. So we made these, in a range of colours, 
and a wide range of fittings. This culture club removes you. Roy. <laughs> no, hard work motivates culture club and uh, this really the need to be successful and to write good songs. I mean, at the end of the day, if you haven't got a good song, then you know, you haven't got a good band. There's some old hippies upstairs. God, you're not going on like that, are you? What does culture club mean to you, John? What does it mean to me? Fun, excitement, travel, <laughs> meeting interesting people. <laughs> How are you coping with the media's flavour of the month approach to fashion conscious performers? Well, I think, you know, I mean, a lot of journalists now are really stupid anyway, you know, a lot of them are really unintelligent. I mean, the sad thing about, you know, like when, obviously the music industry, when punk rock came along, I think that a lot of those sort of hippie newspapers, they sort of suddenly turned to, to get young people to write for them, and they suddenly felt they needed youth. And I think that's one of the things you see about young people. A lot of them don't really appreciate things. A lot of them have got very sort of cocksure ideas about what they're doing. I think a lot of them think they're Ernest Hemingway, you know, and I think it's a bit boring. But I don't personally feel that Culture Club is flavour of the month because I think that we've uh, overcome that now. I think our audience is a lot bigger than they actually assume. It's been always the sort of intent of this band from the beginning that people could actually see me on the same level as they see themselves, you know. I'm not saying to them, hey, you know, join this fairy story. I'm just saying, get on with it and enjoy yourself. Powered by beauty. The Braun independent cordless stylus. Style your hair whenever you want to, wherever you need to. And it's a last good morning, if you like, because today is the final one in the 1982 conference season, which all extra, which means that our late news and weather is now at 10:53. We follow that at 10:59, just before 11 o'clock, with the human race, and then at midnight, a change of program. We have a superstar profile of Roger Moore, which has been f brought forward from Thursday, because if we had shown the advertised Danger UXB, that would have carried us well on into the early hours of Wednesday morning. As it is, our commentaire is at 12:25. From Michael Fish. Good evening to you. Well, I hope you've all been having a very happy Christmas. The weather, of course, has helped. It's been very mild in all parts of the country, although there are some youngsters amongst us who might have liked it to have been white. But as a matter of fact, it is now turning colder, and this cold front will work its way down across central and northern parts in the course of the next 24 hours. with the two Ronnies. Christmas comes but once a year. It's just as well. A time for all to have good cheer. It's that as well. Christmas comes but once a year. A bite full of backy and a belly full of beer. The relatives come from far and near. Well, you can't have everything, can you? Last of the summer wine. Just before we leave to go home, a last reminder to you to turn your sets off and unplug them from the wall before going to bed. Good night to you and God bless. For your listening pleasure.